big metal thing that I don't oh, know what it is. Bye bye. Oh, no. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but how far did it fall? Well, looking at the audio for the video, it looks like it fell for 4.93 seconds before hitting the ground. <laughs> Using a kinematic equation ignoring this hit against the wall, it fell for 119.46 meters before hitting the ground. Oh, but what about air resistance? It won't matter. Don't care. Let's try it anyway, just to make sure. Looking at the drag equation, we have a ton of unknowns. So it looks like we're going to have to solve it by using simulations, since I don't have a wind tunnel. According to this random guy on the internet, this Big metal thing is a concrete coupling clamp. I found the radius and then catted a model in Fusion. I am not crazy. Using ANSYS, I simulated the airflow for several different speeds and got a force from each speed. Plotting the velocity squared versus force in Excel gives us this chart. Doing a linear regression and combining the slope with the reference area, which I got from Fusion, and the density of air at 25 degrees Celsius, we get this as our drag coefficient. Finally, we set up the second order oh, linear God. differential equation, which looks awful. So I'm not going to use it. It looks like our final height with air resistance is negative 107.21. Wow, that's only a 11.42% difference. Also, we ignore the time when it hit the wall. We forgot to account for the speed of sound. So being part of our time, we forgot to account for relativity. Science and engineering is all about models that approximate reality. So choosing the right model is crucial for your application.